Expert with a knife will always take a man with a gun within 20 feet. Always on the draw. You won't draw leather on your nine Glock before I draw leather on my knife and kill you. Simple fact. I mean, you're not gonna pull it out straight out. That's that's in there. You, 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 you're gonna lean on that. You're not gonna do it. You gotta. That's how deep it goes in. And that's a boy. That against any man would have been dead. He'd have been dead already. I mean, that's a, that's a lot of knife coming in on you. I have two sides, I have no middle ground. I am pure light and pure darkness. I cry for people on the streets. I hate poverty. I hate children that don't eat. You know, it drives me crazy. It breaks my heart to see children suffer. I love people. Uh, walking me the wrong way. Yeah, I'm one dark bastard. I didn't choose when I got attacked. The only thing the experts agree on is, with a black bear you never run. A black bear you never play dead. A black bear you always show aggression. This is 100% of the time. Not so with the grizzly. Your best chance, if it's a female, you see the cup in that, yeah, play dead. Whether it was my martial arts, whether it's just I'm one pissy son of a bitch, I don't know. I don't know anything about grizzlies back then. I'm still a teenager, you know? And I can feel the sense for days, I mean, you know? It's quiet. It's a stillness. I look at this grizzly. And then he just moves in on me, just smash right in the chest. All of a sudden, something hits me. Uh, one of my senses said, there will come a time in an individual's life where anger supersedes fear. And that's when you stand or fall. And it was beautiful, it really was. Just let the knapsack go, looked at this animal and said, piss on you, ain't gonna happen. I had my bowie and I had a, a machete. And I walked up to him. I said, man, your fighting prowess is 50 times mine. But pal, I'm good enough to stick both these in you. And he just gave me that look and his, his head kind of went back and forth and he turned 180 degrees and he was just gone. He just, I just watched him walk off and it was almost, uh, you know, oh man, the stillness, the quiet, it was unbelievable. You see, that's the wilderness, that's what brings it. See, it goes, it's like, wow, okay, this is cool. This is, this is what it's all about. So I wanted to learn more about this bear. I wanted to know why. I went back to college. I had quit in grade 10, so I had to go upgrading all over again. And um, what I found out, there was nothing damn thing going on on the grizzly. You can't get close enough to study them. It'll kill you. Well, I'm watching uh, a Robocop. And I'm telling you, halfway through that movie, it just all came together. I just looked at that and said, that's it. I, 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 you give me the time and the money, I want to build a suit. That's how it all started. In 1987-88, I watched Robocop, I started building the bear seats for grizzly bear research. Uh, I am the world's foremost authority on uh, deterrent sprays sold to the public. So I started building it, uh, the Mark III, the Mark IV, um, it's all soft material for flexibility. Uh, you know, you learn a lot, 25 years at this, I mean, I've got 25 years ahead of anybody out there. And by the time I got to the M7, you're looking at $150,000 straight titanium. Um, you know, uh, again, only um, about 20% flexibility, um, 135 pounds, um, but I only need to be able to stand there, raise the arm, there's a trigger device that sends off the spray, that's the research I do, and an aggressive uh, behavioral research, what happens afterwards if it gets through, what does the bear do? Troy goes to McMaster University, that's our MIT. And I go to doctors of physics. So I present the problem to them and they love it. Wow, that's brilliant, wow. How do we simulate the power of a grizzly? Okay, let's break this down. After two days research, they look at me and they say, okay, here's what you gotta do. If you can handle that pickup truck, dead impact, at 50 kilometers an hour, got no problem with a bear. Well, they see that and assume, what an idiot. 
jumped in the suit, no buddy. That's four years. That's five suits starting at three kilometers an hour, poop. Eight kilometers an hour, poop. 15 kilometers an hour, poop, all the way up to 50 before I got there. Do you know why I never broke a bone? Do you know why I've never sustained so much as a concussion? Because I know what I'm doing. People, this isn't a big reach. I don't want to get hurt. So you're talking three years and another four suits later before we got to the M6. And that's how it does it.